I'm going to attempt to do this um, video here because I've had people um, still asking me about the heaven contacts and whatnot, and um, this message I just got kind of disturbs me, um, not because they did anything wrong, but because it seems that if you ask FXIs about me and what happened with me, they would like you to believe that I'm happy with my contacts, I'm happy with the service, I'm happy with everything, and there's no reason for me to keep the video up. And, um, well, I do have many reasons for keeping the video up, and part of it is the fact that I believe that everybody should know not only the good about a company, but the bad, if the bad is quite bad. And with FXIs, the bad is quite bad. They really didn't give a shit at all that they screwed me over. They didn't really care about anything, and at first it seemed really nice, but it's just, you know... I don't know, it's just their whole overall attitude, you know, about their mistakes were kind of like, eh, oh well, oh well, you know, and in, in the end, when everything happened, it wasn't like a genuine, I'm really, really sorry, we'd really love, you know, to keep you as a customer, blah, 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 like you, most places would do, I mean, I've gotten better service from pizza places that have fucked up my order than this place that I've spent 800 of my, you know, of New Zealand dollars on, it's just ridiculous, and so... Not only that, but the wear, you know, they don't feel very good. I've taken the utmost care of them. I rarely, if ever, wear them because I want them to last because I don't know where else to go to get a, another pair of realistic looking contacts. And so I'm just not really wearing these until I have a second option for when these are just completely last life, you know. Um, so... Uh, yeah, I have reasons for not taking the video down, and I'm not happy, and I'm not happy with the way that they acted during the transactions, and I'm not happy with the way they acted after the transactions, so therefore, I'm not happy, therefore, I'm not removing the videos. If they ever made me feel like they really were sorry, maybe offered me something more than a 25% discount on my next order, that, you know, they probably would screw up again, uh, yeah, no, you know, I'm not doing it. And yeah, I did ask them if I could keep my original pair that they sent me, the wrong pair, because I figured, you know, all they're going to do is throw it away anyway, and while they're not the ones that I was after, I could still use them for something or other, you know, instead of just wasting. I'm not a wasteful person. I salvage and save everything, so to me, thinking of just throwing something away is just like, oh my god, don't throw it away, I could keep it, you know? Um, I'm a fan of Goodwill stores and dumpster diving and, you know, I like the shit people throw away. I'll fucking keep it. I'm, you know, not that I'm a dirty, disgusting bitch or anything. It's just, you know, I've grown up poor and growing up without, you learn to make do with what's around you and you don't ever turn down something or waste something when there's no reason to. And I know they're only contact lenses, but it was a waste to just throw them away. I, I just, I don't like seeing waste, so... I hope that you other poor people out there can understand where I'm coming from and not judge me on that. But, yeah, it's just, I mean, it's amazing the kind of shit people throw away. I mean, shit that can just be used. I mean, shit that's practically brand new. You go to thrift shops and you see clothes with the tags still on and everything. It's just crazy. I would never do that, you know? Anyway, so I've opened up my emails here. Sorry, I sound really gross. It's because my, I just pierced myself and they're still healing. So, um, it's making me drool a lot and it kind of hurts to talk because it probably would have been fine, but I've taken the, the post out like three times and exchanged it for longer ones and longer ones and then longer ones. And every time I take it out, I have to stick the little plastic doodah back in and jiggle it around and get the hole right and pop it through and it just like does not feel good. So anyway, um, I put this on a lower resolution, so hopefully it won't be so hard to upload. Although I still have to be mindful of the time. I've been yabbering for four and a half minutes already. Okay, so this is when I got a confirmation that they were sending it to me. And the original heading of it was click and ship um, problem with it. And so they got my name wrong. My last name at the time was Diana Craddock with one D. And... Um, that's what I paid with my credit card with that, but I told them that that's not the name I was using. They didn't care, which, you know, whatever, but they'd still spelled it wrong. I told them I was not living 
at, you know, the address there, uh, that I'm not supposed to show, oops, but they put it there anyway, and, um, so I wrote them, and I said, I sent this to you before, I was wondering if it was too late to change my mailing address as I moved. This is my new address, which this is not my current address. I've moved from there as well, so don't even uh, think that this is my current address because it's not. I live somewhere else now. Um, and then it says, not only is this info below wrong, it isn't my new address. Now what? These contacts are $800. My old address is, which I'm not supposed to show, but I'm not there. How did this happen? And then... I said, not only that, but the name is wrong. It's this. I already filled out the information right, so how did they get it wrong? What if my contacts were also made wrong? Which they were. And then she said, it said, um, the ship notification is being sent to you by the U.S. Postal Service at the request of Jack Carter. The ship to address is not correct. Contact the shipper, which it's not correct, so I did contact them. I don't know why that's doubled up. Now, she said, Your lenses were held by the artist last week as he decided that he needed to add a few finishing touches. They have not shipped yet. The address has been corrected to your updated address. You will receive another notice from the Postal Service with updated tracking information. I apologize for the mix-up, but fortunately, there's no danger of them being shipped to your old address instead of to you at your new one. Your order was taken via telephone, so it wasn't anything that you did or did not do. It was when you updated your address via email that it was not noted on the order form. The message was put in with the order, but not noted on the order. The order form is what is used when the invoices and shipping labels are made, so we will be sure in the future to make any address changes directly on the order form, or at least note such changes there. Again, I apologize for what must have been a very upsetting message. Please be reassured that your lenses will be shipped to you accurately now. Let me know if you have any other questions or need assistance. This whole message was bullshit, because they still sent it to the old address. And I said, sorry. Thank you. I'm so sorry if I seem rude. You know, thinking of it being lost was horrifying. It's because at that time, I left my husband, and so we weren't, you know, weren't really talking like, oh yeah, blah, 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 you know. I mean, it was just, you know, kind of awkward. I mean, I didn't think he would keep them from me or anything, but I wanted them, my house, myself, I paid for them, you know, I it, I changed my address for a reason, you know? But I was being very kind to them there. And then she just goes to the website and says, 35 business days, okay? I don't really know where I have the email where it fucked up again. But this is where I started writing to them. I mean, there's like 60 something messages here, so I haven't actually looked through these. But I'm trying to get one where it has all the messages in one thread. I said, you know, hi there, I'm in love with your contacts, I have a really high prescription, need Torx, can these be made in really high prescriptions, are they sturdy, will they last a long time, how long does it take for them to be sent out? She said, thanks for your interest in our products, the heavens a beautiful lens, we often accommodate high Torx prescriptions, they're sturdy, not paper thin, you should get at least a year's wear from them, mine started hurting and fucking out after about a month's wear. They take about eight to nine weeks from the time an order is placed to be completed and shipped out. And I said, what other information do I need to give you? So to clear it up, I want non-prescription if possible. And then I sent this video. This is exactly how I wanted them. I want them dark rimmed, but light center with a definite green fade in the middle. This specific video is exactly what I'm after. Since I don't know how to place my order online, can I do it here or can you help me? This video... I don't know if it'll even open. Probably won't. No, I don't even see her video here. Well, you can see the screenshot here. On this. Yeah, there you go. So that's how I wanted mine, except with a darker rim and a little bit more gold in the middle to cover my eyes. As you can clearly see, my contacts look absolutely nothing like that, 
even though I'm happy with the color, they look nothing like that at all. Hers are more green. Mine are more zombie pale. I love her color. Her color is what I was after.